I don't know if I've mentioned, but I have an eBay store, so I sell uh, props and replicas and parts of props and replicas for people who want to build their own. So every week I have orders come in and I fill them. So this is a relatively mundane episode, but I have some order fulfillment to do. So I had uh, a couple of orders come through. One for a Star Trek original series mirror mirror agonizer prop, which is already poured, needs to be painted, and also a pad from Next Generation, specifically the red version that Geordi in engineering carries. So uh, first thing to do is I have a pad out of the mold and it's been primed, but the top didn't come out properly, so I need to do some repairs on it before I prime it and paint it. So here's the casting, and here's the cleanup that I need to do. And for most of us, body filler, Bondo, is our, is our frequent tool of choice. Uh, the trick with it, aside from the fact that it stinks, is that um, you need to work fairly quickly because once it starts to harden, or once it's hardened, you gotta do a lot of sanding, it's like a rock. It comes in two parts, this paste, and mine's a little bit that's starting to separate, so I just need to mix it back up. And uh, it's messy, and whatever it hardens to is, is ruined, and uh, I was watching another YouTuber, and he said, just mix it on a piece of paper, no sweat, no strain. And so I just recycle my son's homework, old homework. And so this is the hardener. And it also tends to separate, so I try and mix it in the tube before I put some out. That took about five minutes to dry, so it was very uh, malleable. So I sanded it down, took a, uh, a hacksaw and scribed back in the line and then used a file to uh, clean it up. I think it looks pretty good and I'm gonna hit it with a coat of primer. The Star Trek pad is uh, on the bordered edges around the middle. That remains black, and then the rest is a, a contrasting color. So I just hit this with uh, some matte black finish, and I will tape off around the windows, which are also have black borders, and that, and then hit it with the, uh, the base red coat, and uh, we should be ready for some decals.
Well, it's been a busy couple of evenings getting everything painted and prepped and ready for shipping. I hope you found some uh, enjoyment out of watching my, my process. Uh, if for those who don't know, uh, some of these items are for sale in my eBay store. I've posted a link below and hopefully put one in the video as well. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.